Herkese merhaba. I'm Laurie Bristow, the UK Regional Ambassador for COP26, and I'm delighted to be visiting Ankara and Istanbul this week as part of that role. Although I'm a visitor, I should say Turkey feels like home, because this is where I served as a diplomat for three very happy years in the early 2000s. This time I'm here because the UK will host the 26th UN Climate Change Conference of the parties, known as COP26, in Glasgow in November 2021. As hosts of COP26, the UK wants to ramp up ambition to achieve a climate-resilient zero-carbon economy. This clearly requires national and international commitments. Over the next couple of days, I'm looking forward to hearing the advances Turkey has made, particularly in areas such as renewable energy. I'm also hoping that we can identify new areas to increase ambition and collaborate on solving a truly global issue. This year, we've launched a year of climate action to inspire positive action engagement on climate change across the UK in the run-up to the UN Climate Change Conference, that's COP26. Internationally, we're committed to working with Turkey and our other partners through joining forces with the governments, civil society, business community and the people to inspire action ahead of COP26. The UK's COP presidency will focus efforts on five areas which need particular attention to achieve our goals. These are clean energy, clean transport, nature-based solutions, adaptation and resilience, and underpinning everything, finance. In this context, I'm aware that Turkey is already focusing on priority clean growth sectors, such as electric vehicles, solar and wind power, energy efficiency in the energy, transport and building sectors. Our other COP26 campaigns on nature, adaptation and resilience are also relevant to Turkey. I'll be having discussions today with key Turkish governmental and non-governmental stakeholders to discuss all these and prospects for collaboration prior to COP26. My visit this week will, I hope, bring additional focus on these areas and help our governments, businesses and all parts of society move towards a low-carbon future. I really believe that COP26 and the work leading towards it can be the moment when the world comes together to increase momentum towards a climate resilient zero carbon economy. We shouldn't forget that the decisions we make now will directly impact our ability to safeguard the environment for future generations. Now is the time to take action.